Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Aquarius. What does your guides and your angels and your ancestors want you to know for March 2023? Um, so we're going to take a look at what that is, okay? And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on outcome advice. Uh, you can apply this to any of your placements because this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Uh, what else? Um... Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements, okay? Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aquarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live all right so tell me about um uh, Aquarius what does Aquarius's guides angels and ancestors want Aquarius to know what does Aquarius's guides angels and ancestors want Aquarius to know for March 2023 all right in the, the reverse here you know it seems like you did it seems like you know you are deciding on something here okay you know one of the things i'm getting here is that you know maybe you decided to move on from the past this is so interesting because i you know i feel like you might be going back and forth here because i feel like you might be making a decision you're like okay i'm gonna do it and then you go back on it okay uh king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo the six of cups here let's see what else we have oh wow we have the tower and the three of swords it's kind of like I, i'm almost getting an energy of like you know aquarius it's kind of like you know when are when is someone here gonna wake up and smell the coffee here you know when is someone gonna realize that the someone from the past that you've been dealing with or someone that you've been dealing with that you've been dealing with here for a long time it ha is going to continue to hurt you over and over and over again. It's kind of like someone here keeps putting themselves in that position, okay? And I feel like with the tower here, you know, I do feel like it's almost like divine intervention. The divine is stepping in to sort of like rescue your butt. But every time the divine rescues your butt, you know, someone here could be running back, okay? So, you know, Aquarius, you know, when I do these types of readings, this is more so for your personal growth and your spiritual growth here and your healing. But you could apply this to someone that you know, okay? Um, if you want. It's not, yeah, this reading is not really meant to be cross-watched, twisted, or reversed. But if you want to do this, uh, do that, you can. So Aries, Scorpio energy with the Tao, two of wands in the reverse here, and the Fool. Aries energy could also be Aquarius, two of pentacles here, and the Hermit. I, I, I do feel like this decision that you're making here, you're fi this decision that you're making here, finally making here, it's going to completely change your life. Okay? This is interesting because I feel like, you know, through... One of the things I'm also getting here is that someone here has had like a medical condition since they were a child. So I feel like someone here has to like watch out for the blood pressure here. Someone here has to watch out for the weight. I, I do feel like someone here could be also making a huge shift like in their lifestyle. You know, it could be a situation that someone here, you know, might be switching diets, you know, having eating a more cleaner diet, you know, a more organic diet or something like that. Someone here could be extra exercising more that, you know, you're being called to do that. Uh, you know, I do feel like, you know, this could be you, maybe it's someone that you know, someone here could go through like a major, major health emergency and someone here is going to come to that realization that, okay, it's time to make some big changes in my life, okay? I, I get that, I, I'm getting that someone smokes here too. Uh, King of Pentacles and the Five of Cups, the Six of Cups here and the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. The, a lot of this stuff is coming up right now or the lot a lot of the stuff that you're dealing with here is is past like imprints even, even the health the health crisis the health situations that are going through here too because uh, i don't know why i'm getting this but someone here constantly has like chest pain 
Yeah, someone here constantly has chest pain here. Okay, the Three of Swords. We have the Three of Cups. Someone here has to stop drinking too. The Tower. We have the Chariot here. Yeah, you know, I do feel like there is a major aha moment that's coming in for you, you know? You know, so this Six of Cups could be, you know, past patterns of dealing with toxic people or unhealthy people in your life. Or this could be uh, patterns uh, that you picked up as a child that you're trying to break, you know, um, or, 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 or bad habits that you picked up when you were younger. Let's see. Yeah, it seems like an energy of like breaking bad habits. Okay, so what else do we have here for Aquarius? What else does Aquarius need to know, look out for, and work on here? What else does Aquarius need to know from their guides, their angels, and their ancestors for March 2023? For Aquarius. For Aquarius here. Okay, we have the Emperor here, Aries energy in the Ten of Cups. Wow, Four of Pentacles here in the Three of Wands, in the Hangman here, and the Moon. You know, I, Aquarius, what I'm getting here is that I feel like you're really stepping up to the plate for yourself here. You're definitely making some big changes. You know, I do feel like, you know, there are people in and around you that are going to notice this change here. You know, the Four of Pentacles here and the Three of Wands. You know, I feel like you're really hopeful about the future. Um, you know, especially when it comes to your health here too, because I do feel like at some point it was looking bleak. It was like maybe like maybe one health emergency after another here. Okay. The Hangman and the Moon. I mean, you're definitely seeking a lot of perspective here. You know, I also feel like you're definitely diving into that dark side here, that shadow side, and perhaps doing some sort of shadow work here, uh, 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 Aquarius. The Moon Cancer Pisces here. Tell me about the Emperor. Why is the Emperor here? Why is the Emperor here? The Emperor here in the Death card. Wow. The Ten of Cups here in the Ace of Swords. You're going through a major transformation. This transformation that you're going through, I, I feel like you're you are not only you know, a, you know, this is not only for you, but I you know obviously it's for you, but I feel like you're inspiring others in your family to also like to make these big changes, uh, more so like lifestyle changes. Ace of Swords here. Let's see, Four of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Seven of Swords here. There is some sort of fear surrounding money here. Yeah, there's like money worries, worries about money here. You know, one of the things I'm getting is that with the Seven of Swords and Eight of Swords here, you know, I, you know, I do, I do, I do feel like you're realizing that change in life is ine in inevitable and you can't avoid it. You know, because the change is where the growth is, you know, it's where the lessons are, you know, it's where the healing is. And I feel like what's happening is that, you know, I feel like the universe is sending you that medicine and I feel like you're receiving that medicine. Does that make sense? Yeah, you're, you're sort of like finally seeing the light or that you're finally understanding what's going on here, you know. So the hangman, we have the ace of wands, tell me about the, about the moon, the moon. In the world, yeah, some major major cycles closing out here. Yeah, it just seems like what you know. It just seems like you know, Aquarius. I feel like you learned some big lessons here, you know. And I feel like you're feeling really good about yourself, or that you're feeling really confident that you know, you know, the the path that you're on is the right path here. You know, so you are on the right path here. And I feel like the universe, your guides and your angels and your ancestors want you to know that. Okay? So Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right? Thanks, guys. Bye.